Hey everyone, so let's talk about complex modes. So in this case, you'll see that these animations, these abilities only have one uh, animation clip or one motion. But what happens if I have multiple animations for a single ability or a single mode? Let's see the sleep animations, for example. For the raccoon to sleep, I have the, I have several animations actually. I have idle to sit, then I have sit to lie, then I have lie to sleep, and then the raccoon goes to sleep, which is fine. But in this case, I will need to do another setup to make that animation work. So let's do this. So I'm going to create a new substate machine to have things more organized. I'm going to call it sleep. And right here, I'm going to add on the sleep animations. I'm going to add the first one, idle to sit, which is that this one right here. And I'm going to change it sleep. And now I'm going to go to tools, models, animations, animator tools, modes. And I'm going to select the raccoon. I'm going to select the action mode let me check the ability to sleep is six and here i'm going to change the index to six which is sleep and i'm going to add all the transitions perfect now i have the animation for sleeping let's try the the sleep loop animation now, for testing this, I'm going to set the ability, the active ability to 6 to see how it looks like. You know that it won't work that well. So I'm going to hit play, I'm going to press E, and the dragon goes to sleep. It works sometimes, but I don't like it. I want to apply all the animations instead. So, what can we do? We're going to add all the animations from rag idle to sleep to sit uh, sit to lie lie to sleep and then we go to this animation so i'm going to this do this transitions right here so if you check right here he sit and he lies then he lies and they go to sleep and then he go to sleep Perfect. Now, instead of going directly with these animations, I'm going to create a new transition here and I'm going to copy these conditions and paste it right here. That's another fast way to do this. I'm going to remove this one. But now, what we need to do is to add the mode behavior which is important is the thing that uh, let know the animal controller that a mode is playing so I'm going to add to the, this first animation a mode behavior and the mode is action but you will see that you have two buttons right here called enter and exit and since this animation is the enter animations I'm going to disable the exit Perfect. So it's going to enter right here. It will transition to all these animations. I'm going to remove this one right here. And then we don't need the loop animation, I think, for sleep. We need to to keep it the animation going. So I'm going to remove the loop. But we need to exit this animation. So to exit the sleep, we're going to sleep to lie then lie to sit and then sit to idle so let's try this sit to lie sleep to lie lie to sit and then sit to idle perfect then i'm going to do some default transitions with exit time right here and then we're going to exit, a simple exit, which is this one right here. 
0.2.2.08.2 and we'll call it exit perfect and now to exit the slip animation the loop animation we're going to do the these two interrupted transitions but not the exit one so, so only the interrupted one so I'm going to interrupt the slip with two transitions when the mode is not equal to the value 4006 in interrupted you can rename it or not if you like and the other one is mod status equal to minus 2 let's copy and let's paste it here interrupted minus equals 2 just to know which one is which and also all the interrupted animations has the exit time disabled so let's do this disable here and disable there perfect and now all these animations I'm going to delete it what else do we need since we have the enter mode behavior right here we need to end it so we're going to end it right here so I'm going to add the mode behavior with the action mode and I'm going to use it just for exit what else do we need so in this case I want to interrupt the slip animation when I move the character luckily to do this there is a transition you can use when the movement is detected so I'm going to disable the exit time and I'm going to use right here movement equals to true so if I move the animal he will exit the the mode when he's sleeping okay what else do we need if you don't want to if you, if you just want to sleep to reproduce all the animations one time simply add an, a default exit animation right here with these values and that should work but in this case I want to interrupt or end the animations when a movement is detected or when another mode is played that is why we have this default interrupted animation uh, in sorry transitions so let's remove this one and now let's test this I hit if I hit play and I press E the animal is going to sleep and um, that is perfect and if I move the WASD key the animal will wake up and he will finish all the animation now you saw that the animal got moved in the y axis and that is because the colliders of the raccoon are pushing the animal always check that your colliders are not pushing the animal you can do several things things right here you can disable some of the some of the colliders that are messing up with some of the animations using the events for example right here if you go to modes you will see we have an action event to use the the modes action but I want to be specifically using the slip so we can go to modes and go to slip and here when enter the slip I can select I don't know right here and disable the colliders and enable it back when they are when the animation is finished just remember that you can do that when the colliders are messing up with the animations or another thing that you can do is to add a behavior to make the animal kinematic when they are playing an animation so if I set 
is kinematic on enter here and right about here I'm going to set is kinematic on enter but false now the colliders won't affect the animations and he will sleep perfectly but remember that the animal right here in this state is kinematic so if I set a sphere well yeah it's been pushed yeah it's, in, it's been pushed well it's working so you can use that option too and that's it that's how you create a complex mode ability with several animations hope this helps